every year they have a life of their own. Well, and this vine, this vine has been around longer than you've been alive. Yeah. My wife and I, we kind of fell in love to some extent around Napa and wine. We always had this kind of pipe dream of, boy, wouldn't it be great if we could do something there, if we could make this, you know, a, a bigger part of our life other than just collecting. It just started with our shared love and interest of wine. Early on, when Steve and I were dating, he came over to my apartment and he saw the wine spectator on my table and he said, oh, you, you brought my magazine over. I said, no, oh, that's my magazine. And we realized that, wow, we, we really do share our passions. We got married up here. I really credit my wife who said, you know what, you have to promise me that when we get married that you're going to pursue this passion and you're going to find some time to do it. It was really that promise that instigated our kind of jump into it. We harvested in 2004 our first vintage of the Cabernet and it was really small, 200 cases of wine. We didn't actually have a name for the wine at that point and it wasn't until later we realized that it was best named after that promise that I had made to my wife and um, it's, uh, it's obviously been promised ever since. There's been a reaction um, to kind of just the mass market of everything and the kind of industrialization of everything that's led people to really get back to the basics. You know, for winemaking, I think it's very similar. To open a bottle of your wine with friends, family, strangers, and to know how much love and attention and care and heart has gone into the wine, even to a sophisticated palate, they taste the wine and, and they know it's it's something very special. We're able to farm in, in a kind of micro farming where we're literally going out in the, in the fields and selecting the grapes before they're even ripened. What the soil is matters, what wood you're putting it in over time, what toast of the wood it is, how long it's in the wood, um, what kind of blending grapes you use. And um, you really can only do that with a product that is um, an, a, of an artisan size. It's passionate, local, and they're done with a meticulousness that you just can't do on a large scale. Our grapes are picked by hand, our sorting, our pre-sorting, everything from the time it gets brought to the crush pad is done in such a hand-crafted way, and that's really what Promise is about. You're targeting a certain uh, flavor and kind of feel for it, and that's, you know, for me, that's what kind of really sets apart um, an artisan wine from a mass-produced um, kind of jug wine. Anything artisan is handcrafted, and we really honor that. It's so satisfying. You just know there's something really special about our product.